What is it? Sorry, sir. I thought somebody said something. Colin says hearing voices is a well-known first sign of madness. And is that what Chucky's like? A, a voice that you hear? Yes. No! 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 Go away! Tell me, have you found out where Chucky comes from yet? No. The trouble is, if you don't know where anything else is, how can you find out where you are? It's only when you have something about Matthew's background. You've got to accept it. He's a foundling. We adopted him. We're the only family he's ever had. There's no way we can find out where he came from. Can I take my dolly's tea things on the picnic, Mummy? Yes, of course, darling. Are you taking your dollies then? Yes. I'm taking the mandarin for me and Lucy Lockett for Piff. Oh, dear. Have you been to the loo? Yes, Mummy. Good girl. I'm going to get my car. All set, then? Yes, I think that's everything. Oh, you can take those. Where's Matthew? He's already in the car, studying the route map. No mention of you-know-who. No, she doesn't seem to be around this morning. Good. Well, let's hope it stays that way. Come on, then, let's get going before the traffic builds up. Have you decided which way we're going to go? I think so, yes. Matthew? He's gone off to do a bit of exploring. Well, by the river? What if he should fall He'll in? be all right. I told him to be careful. Yes, but it's very it's deep. It's good for him to start being a bit independent. Is this a car, Matthew? No, that's a boat too. It is different to the ice. How does it work? It just floats on the water. It has a propeller to push along. Does it have a wheel and a sausage orange orange like a car? <laughs> no, it doesn't have wheels like a car. It only goes on water, not on land. I know the springs. No, it doesn't have springs either. Well, then water takes care of that. But you can change direction. Yes. <sighs> I'll show you. Steering wheel. Directional jets. No, it works for rudder. What is that? It's a thing at the back of the boat. I'd like to see this rudder. Let me make a picture in my mind. Good you, you little blighter. Now, what the devil are you up to, eh? You. Oh, is that the time? Mm. Matthew's been gone nearly an hour. I hope he's all right. Well, it's getting a bit blowy anyway. You start clearing up. I'll go and have a look for him. All right. It's not good enough, officer. I've been burgled three times in the last two years. I want something done about it. I don't think this young man was going to do How anything. How the devil do you know what he was going to do? They start very young these days, you know. What's going on? Dad! I managed to calm him down a bit in the end, but it took a bit of doing, I can tell you. He was furious. I'm sorry. I wasn't doing anything. But you were on his boat. 
Yes, I just didn't think. Then it's high time you did think. We've been worried sick about you. I'm sorry, Mummy. Going off on your own like that. We had no idea where you were or what had happened to you. Honestly, I didn't Don't mean you any ever do anything like that again. Do you hear me? The chap's had a lot of trouble with thieves and vandals. That's what he managed to catch one of them at last. What were you doing trespassing on somebody's boat? Why? I was just looking. Chucky's never seen a boat before. Me. Chucky? I might have known. I only thought she'd be interested. It wasn't her fault. I don't want to hear any more. That's quite enough. We're going home. Polly! They're both settled. Good. Have you finished in there? Yes. Good. Let's go and sit down, shall we? We can't go on like this. No, I know. It's gone too far. This... Well, whatever it is, it's... It's getting him into trouble now, and I can't stand much more of it. No. I've been thinking, there's... a chap I was at Cambridge with, Roy Landis. Yes? He was a medic. <clears throat> we were quite good friends. What about him? Well, after he qualified, I believe he went into psychiatry. Uh, last thing I'd heard of him, he'd been made a consultant at the Claudesley. I could call him and ask his advice. Informally. Yes. Yes, please ring him. Last over. We only need six. Three wickets in hand. We should do it. Yes, sir. You go. Let's take it steady. I suppose you'd better get padded up. Yes, sir. Matthew, it's all up to you. Last man in and six to make. Play up, play up, and play the game, eh? Sorry, sir? It's poetry, lad. Famous poem. Just do your best, eh? See if you can survive the last four balls and force a draw. That's all you can do. Yes, sir. Six needed. Matthew Gore facing the bowling. Might as well go home now. Lock them, lad. Just lock them. Mine! Lock! 
quiet for long. There's only two more balls to go. You had a bit of excitement in the cricket match this afternoon. Yes. Well, it was chalky, really. I suppose you could say it was cheating. I didn't plan it. it just happened. Chalky sort of took over. A winning six? Yes, off the last ball but one. Fantastic. You must be the hero of the school. Yeah. It's a bit awkward, really. Because I couldn't tell anybody what really happened. And everybody knows I'm not much of a batsman. I had to take all the credit. Still... Chucky doesn't seem to mind. Well, that's all right, then. Speaking of Chucky, I was talking to an old friend of mine from Cambridge this afternoon. He seems to have the same sort of ideas about cars that Chucky has. Really? Yeah. I thought you might like to meet him. Did you tell him about Chucky? Well, yes, he was very interested. About Chucky? Yeah, I rather got the impression he may have run across somebody a bit like her before. I thought you might like to meet him. It would be nice for you to have someone to talk to who knows about that sort of thing. Yeah, I might like that. Anyway, as I said, he's an old friend. I haven't seen him for years, so I've asked him to lunch on Sunday. OK? Yeah, OK. His name's Roy Landis. I think you'll like him. <laughs> Did you remember those Sunday lunch times we used to spend at Grantchester? Oh, yes. <laughs> Marvellous roast they used to do. Yeah. I expect it's all carveries now. Or organic salads, oh. bean sprouts and brown rice. Not very Rupert Brooke, I'd say. No. Were you at Cambridge, Mary? No. A Girton girl, perhaps? No, 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 no. I read history at London. Oh, which college? Bedford. Oh, very nice. Amongst all the roses in Regent's Park. Mm. <laughs> what are your ambitions, Matthew? Do you fancy following your father or mother? I don't know yet. I always shout for Cambridge in the boat race. Oh. Well, the least said about that, the better. <laughs> yes. I don't really know what I want to do yet. Not quite right. Keep your options open. I don't suppose you know what you're really good at yet, do you? I'm not very good at anything, I'm afraid. Oh, don't worry. You've got plenty of time yet. Well, I think I'll start clearing this lot away. I'll give you a hand. No, no, no. You're a guest, Roy. You uh, go out in the garden and relax. Matthew will keep you company. I know you've got things to talk about. Thanks. All right, Matthew? Yes. Come on, Miss Lance. I'll show you my favourite tree. Right. What do you think? They seem to be getting on rather well. I see. So you can't tell where she comes from? No. We haven't been able to work it out. Hmm. Well, I can quite understand that. But what about her home life? Well, she tries to tell me, but I can't make out what it's like. Why is that? A lot of the things she says just don't mean anything to me. It's like... Suppose I was quite deaf. Yes. And you tried to tell me about a tune. I wouldn't be able to know what you were talking about, would I? <laughs> no. That's a very good analogy. I like that. Sometimes she talks about her father and her mother. But the hymns and hers get mixed up. As if they were both the same. We have the same problem with Chalky to start with. I see. That must be very confusing. Oh, it is. Tarway is difficult for her, too. She says it's natural and easy to love one person, but if your parent is divided into two different people, it must be pretty difficult not to love one more than the other. Do you agree with her? Oh, no. I have to keep trying to tell Chucky that we love our fathers and mothers differently, because they're different people. But that doesn't mean we love one more than the other. I must say, Roy isn't quite what I expected. Oh? What did you expect? I'm not sure, really. I suppose psychiatrists are different from surgeons and things. Less traditional. He's very highly thought of, I understand. 
Yes, I'm sure he is. Oh, I do hope we're doing the right thing. Roy knows what he's about. He won't do anything to hurt Matthew. I hope you're right. Will you stop worrying? Come on, let's get these things washed up. Then we can sit down with the papers. Yes, that's what Chalky thinks too. Is it now? Yes. She says our civilization is suffering from primitive fixation on the wheel. What exactly does she mean by that? Well, she says once we discovered rotary motion, we started to apply it to everything. And we're only just starting to show signs breaking free from our wheel obsession. Well, that's a fascinating idea. I thought so. Well, and absolutely true, when you really consider it. Yes. Yes, darling. When are we going to have our tea? Pip and I are ever so hungry and thirsty. You've only just finished clearing away the lunch things. Matthew's been talking to Dr. Linus for hours, hasn't he? Yes, he has. What are they talking about? Oh, all sorts of things, I expect. Grown up things. Boring. She says space rockets are too primitive. Like driving a car with clockwork or even petrol. Once you've used up your store power, you're finished. What should we use as fuel then? Well, I can't really understand everything she tells me, because a lot of it won't turn into proper words. But I know it's something to do with space radiations that you can pick up and convert, if you know how. Use them to work your motor or your gravity screens. Gravity screens? Yes. Chucky says weight is a sort of force, and the force is a form of energy. And you have to make that work for you, not against you. And then you could reach higher speeds than you ever could with old-fashioned rockets. Have you any idea how fast? Yes. She says the limit at the moment is the speed of light. At the moment? Hmm. She says that's the main obstacle to efficient space travel. The speed of light is too slow. Because of the huge distances. Yes. Yes, I can appreciate that. Chucky says somehow they've got to find a way around that. She tried to tell me about the most promising theories. But I lost her again. She kept going on. This wouldn't turn into proper words. Still, I'm going to stick at it. And I might be able to understand her eventually. She says she'll help me. You seem to have managed to understand an awful lot already. Do you really think so? I do indeed. I certainly do. Oh, both in bed? Yes. Matthew's worn out after talking so much. I'm sorry. Matthew said he'd read for a little while. Come and sit down then. Would you like a drink? No, thank you. Well. <clears throat> you and Matthew certainly had a long session this afternoon. Yes. I, uh, I hope you didn't find it too tedious. Tedious? Good Lord, no. You didn't tell me the half of it. But what do you think? What, what's causing it? Well, if you were consulting me professionally, I'd stall. I'd say it was a complex case needing more than a short examination can reveal. But between friends? I'm going to be unprofessional and confess that it's got me beat. Oh. I, I know what it looks like, but that's sheer nonsense. What is? Our ancestors would have said that Chalky is a wandering, if not wanton, spirit, which has invaded Matthew. They'd have said that this was a plain case of possession. 
possession. I, I said that's what our ancestors would have thought. But I'm not sure possession is the right word. It does imply domination. And this seems more like a working arrangement. What do you mean? Well, when Matthew was ill, he asked you to send Chucky away and she went. Since then, they seem to have agreed that she should only visit at times that suit him. Him, you notice, not her. But surely that proves that it's something inside Matthew if, if he can control it. No, no, not at all. Matthew says he had a lot of trouble at first because Chucky's time isn't the same as ours. But he got round that by setting the kitchen timer to demonstrate the duration of an hour. So now she knows how to avoid awkward times like meals or when he's doing his homework, or even in the middle of the night. Apparently, she used to wake him up at first with strings of impossible questions. He didn't like that. No, he wouldn't. Wait a moment. Now you're talking as if this chalky really exists. Let's be clear about this. Chucky is simply a name for Matthew's imaginary friend, just like Polly's Piff. What we Mary, need to whatever know is... else she may be, Chucky is nothing like Polly's Piff. I'm quite certain that Chucky comes from outside, Matthew. Well, I can understand that that's, that that's all the things he says. The questions he's been asking, the concepts he comes out but with. But they're things he's read somewhere or, or heard or seen on television. Well, that's a nice, comfortable theory, Mary, but it just doesn't fit the evidence. You've got to get used to the fact that Chalky is not a figment of Matthew's imagination. No, I don't believe that. It's not Where possible. Where she comes from, or what she is, beats me completely at the moment, and it beats Matthew too. But Chalky is real. She exists. Chucky, this is awfully boring. No, Matthew. It is most interesting. It's not. Really, Chucky. I wish there was some way I could see you. No. You would be afraid. I wouldn't be afraid. Really, I wouldn't. Yes. We are very different. Well, couldn't you just... anything? Just for me. Nobody else. Please. All right. Concentrate. And I will show you my energy field. Yes, Matthew. 